Hi, today we're going to look at a way that you can use a counting stick in the classroom for a math starter or even an activity that you can give to your TA to do with a small group or an individual child. So this is my counting stick. Um, obviously I've got the two times tables on here and we're going to be looking at skip counting. So I'd always start by having it like this in front of the children. Um, I love this because it's so visual. Um, so we start at this end and obviously we first start with two, four, six, eight, ten. The children chant, you call it out with them, especially I found with my AAL children, it's good to be modelling how to say the words as well as giving them opportunity um, to feel included and like everybody's doing the same thing. Um, especially with the AAL children, I find that, that if the pronunciation of 14 often gets confused with 40. I'm not sure why, but it, it's always the opposite. So they'll say 40 as 14. So it's always great to have as many opportunities to model that language as possible. So if this skip counting is totally new to your children, the first few days will just be spent practicing chanting the pattern. Um, if it's a refresher, you might be able to move more quickly through these steps. Um, the way I would start, if this was my first time, would be just chanting. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You could do it in different voices. You could say, do it quietly, do it softly. Can you say it like a robot? Um, to make it more interesting for the children and so they don't feel like they're just repeating the same thing every time. Um, as they build in confidence and ability, it's nice to take some of the numbers off. So you might take the 10 off and then you chant again. The children having to say the middle number helps them retain it. And it also see, um, helps you to see whether the children are actually remembering the pattern. Um, so try not to go too quickly with this. You can also, if your children are getting it really well or it's just a refresher, you can take more than one off at a time and then um, build and build and build until there's none off. They love it when they get to the end and you've taken them all off and um, it's super exciting for them. So once the children have built to that and you're confident that they know how to skip count in your pattern, um, a nice game to extend the children is that instead of taking them off and putting them on the table or away, you can put them on the back of a child. So I'd choose a child from the classroom, always using my random lollipop sticks or whatever I'm doing for that day. Um, so instead of, so we might be chanting, I'll take this off, this is my child for today. Put it on the back of the child, so the child's facing away from the class. And then the children chant the skip counting pattern, but they miss out the one that's missing. So the child who is standing there has to guess which one they've missed. So you're also testing that child's ability with their skip counting whilst also practicing with the children. And the children get really excited trying to practice and um, trick their friend or sometimes they just like it when they get it right because they feel like they've helped them. So I always like to do it in this way because children um, will often forget what they're being asked to do. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 16, 18, 20, 22. It also helps keep the chant in a nice even pattern and it helps the child as well that's standing up there. If you have a really mix of abilities in your class and you're confident this child knows their twos, you can extend that by instead of taking off one number, taking off two. I probably wouldn't do much more than two. If they can do more than two, then they're probably beyond that um, number sequence that you're chanting, but that's really fun too and that really tests them as well. Um, super fun, the kids love it, they're still chanting. I wouldn't, depending on the ability of your child, children, I wouldn't get rid of the counting stick um, because my ch children at the moment especially are such a mix and I have very um, new English speakers. Having this is such a good crutch for them. If they don't need it, they won't use it. But if it's there for all the children, that means that they will participate and you won't have children sitting there quietly because generally when you're up to doing number patterns, the children will know the numbers at least. So I hope that really helped. It's a massive favorite in my class and I think it really helps the children. Super fun, super easy and super quick 
which is always a great thing when you're looking for starters for the start of your maths lesson. It gets those brains working and it gets kids really excited about the 